hospital after an incident at a local elementary school. The mother's post about this online has since gone viral. Meanwhile, the school district is saying the students were, quote, horse playing. Our Alexis Wainwright spoke with those parents exclusively and shares their story tonight. Alexis? Well, Simone, I spoke with the parents who say they're angry, hurt, and confused, but they're also thankful that their son is still here. And tonight they're calling for transparency and answers from the Charles County Public School District. If you look at my son, he has marks under his eyes. He's like blood vessels. He still has bruises on his neck from being choked. It's hard to hide emotion as these two parents who don't want to be identified talk about their son. They're hoping for answers after they say their son was hung by a fourth grade student in the boys bathroom Friday. He's traumatized. It's going to take time. This is not something that he's going to get over just overnight. Paperwork from the hospital lists one of his injuries as a neck contusion, which is caused by blunt trauma to the neck. The seven year old is a second grader at C. Paul Barnhart Elementary School in Waldorf. Charles County Public Schools says they're aware of the incident and sent a statement saying in part, two of our students were reportedly horse playing in a school bathroom when one student's jacket got caught on a stall door hook. The student was not able to free themselves and the other student involved was also not able to help them. It doesn't make sense to me. If you're horse playing, how do you get caught on a hook? Like, I'm we need answers. I want answers and we won't stop until we get answers. And now the parents say they're sharing their side of the story in hopes of preventing this from happening to anyone else. My son did tell me that when they were in the bathroom, he said that the little boy told him, I'm going to show you how I did people back in the day. That's why I feel like it's bullying because it's no telling how many other kids this has happened to. And they want the school district to step up. I want to see a policy in place. I would like to see at least hallway monitors. I want to know why is a fourth grader in the same hallway or the same bathroom as the second grader. Most schools have them divided. I feel like this is very unacceptable. And these are all our children and they are the future. So we just, like, we need to protect them. Like, we're sending our kids to schools every day thinking that they are safe. And the seven-year-old has since been released from the hospital and is still recovering. His parents tell me they won't be returning back to school, but they hope to hear more updates from the district soon. Mind around this tonight. Thank you, Simone. All right, Alexis, seven years old. Hard to wrap your mind around this tonight. Thank you. And double honors to the elder apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, your fellow believers of this truth. Shalom to the elect. So anyway, um... I had this video sent to me by the brother Ju Judah Tribe 69 or I think his channel now is Judah Tribe um, sends me a lot of these clips and I said well um, when I'm working on other videos if it's a short clip like this I'll just jump in and report it because this is reincarnation right and that was when I read when I heard you know you heard it what the woman said about what her son said he said this is how we do back how I how I did it back in the day now a lot of people may say well that was learned behavior the parents taught him I'm not doubting that either because he comes through the line of his um his people right now they didn't say whether it was a white child or so-called black child but you do know it's this spirit it don't have nothing to do with solely with the flesh you got Caucasians with brown skin right so you can't say that this is clearly something that happened in the past and it's just rebounded right and secondly why would he say I did this back in the day right so this is what makes me believe more so it's a reincarnation thing let's read a scripture I'm only going to read a few scriptures on this Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 the thing that has been it is that which shall be and that which is done is that which shall be done and there is no new thing under the sun is there see like styles and fashions when you look at the Roman Empire you see it here in America so there, there's uh, there's no differences it's pretty much the same with a little added technology you know the, the name of it might have changed but it's still the same situation same scenario right it says um, uh, where are we at no new thing on the sun is there anything where it might be said see this is new with a question mark it has been already of old time which was before us 
there is no remembrance of former things. Why is this saying there's no remembrance of former things? Well, people will go to the Christian scholars because they're not prophets and say it's just going into not remembering the history, right? But you don't remember your past life, right? Neither shall there be any remembrance of things that are to come after um, with those that shall come after, right? You know, your lineage coming back. You don't know your future. You don't know your past. You know, the Lord made us like that because it's all about the elect, right? Let's get uh, Jeremiah 2 and 14. This man, another bothersome thing about the video is this child father. You know what he said? He said, uh, he said that we all, they're all our children. This is what he said. He said, they're all our children. That That's all that matters. Now he's talking about the one that hung him and the one uh, and his son. Now, I've been in elementary school many years ago, right? And we know damn well they have a code to building those stalls and the hooks on those stalls. How does a seven-year-old jump up on a hook and hang himself? And if he was even tall enough and just happened to be tall enough, you would think that would be a, a, a safety um, situation from day one. They would know that. You would have different cases of it. Clearly, this is, you know, this is something new. So how did he find himself up on a hook and his feet dangling, right? So that's very hard to do for anyone to put themselves up there and do that, let alone a 70-year-old. And then you see what the school says. The school don't want any heat. They're covering it up. They're sweeping it under the rug. This is why it's a good idea to take your loved ones out of those situations. I guess that's the best way I could say that. Anyway, this man doesn't care. He just still wants to love all the little children of the world. <laughs> you got to understand it's bigger. When your soul comes back, it has to come back as a, a child. Your, your soul is not going to just jump into a grown body. It will choke. This is why children are so playful. They run around. And they become acquainted with that new body. Right? It says, is Israel a servant? Is Israel a homeborn slave? Why is he so spoiled? This is the question we would ask. Why are we so spoiled to see this situation? And then us in the truth brings out the information of why these are things are happening to us in Deuteronomy 28. Right, and then going to Joel three, showing the salvation and revelation, you know, the coming, the coming, um, the history and the coming um, situations, destructions, or whatever else. Th these these people don't care. They they will steal his his little son. Got blood clots in his eyes. I think they call particular hemorrhages, hemorrhages, where um, the little spots in their eyes turn red and it, the vessels bust in their eyes. Yeah, but you know what he'll say? He'll do just like they do in the church when they go to church on Sunday. They'll stand around and praise. As I always say, and I, I'm not having enough saying this, you always have oppressors who kill you, destroy you, make you sick, and then tell you to love everybody. You know how easy that is or how damaging that still is to a people? that has been totally depressed, right? Totally destroyed. And it's so easy to tell you to tell them to love everybody. You know, uh, you know, if we had people in servitude, it's easy for us to say, you know what? Y'all need to love one another. And you know, the sick part about it, we'll do the same thing to each other. We'll shoot, kill, harm, and hurt one another. But then when we do this to somebody that looks not like us we get the swift judgment but you saw that woman that white cop woman that shot uh, what was her name Botham and, uh, and killed him the brother got up and gave her a hug and the judge gave this white woman a hug this is what we are living in you know this is why judgment must begin with the house of the Lord man you don't want to listen get judgment Anyway, um, Daniel 8 and 25, and through policy, 
Also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, right? And this is what he's managed to do. You had people in here talking about um, they're blaming Trump for this. <laughs> so you see the meltdown of society. This is exactly what's happening. And all these things that this man has set forward is going, is going to start backfiring. Right? It says, through his policy, he shall cause craft, witchcraft, conniving schemes to prosper in their hand. And he shall magnify himself in the heart, make America great again. You know? Love all. Okay? And by peace, he shall destroy many. Right? Because um, let's go to Jeremiah 8 and 11. Right? Um, is it Jeremiah 8 and 11? Uh, yeah, 8 and 11. It says, For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people, slightly, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. No, this is not just talking about some women. The daughter of his people is talking about the Israelites. Right? It says, For they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace and this is what we're saying as long as you people continue to accept the so called regime <laughs> the system and you believe in everything it's saying and these are all our people these are all God's children you're going to keep getting judged right that's why the scripture says in uh, the book of Jeremiah let me see if I can find it real quick. I think it's Jeremiah 51 or Isaiah 51. Let's see what it says. Let's see where I'm at. Yeah, Jeremiah 51 and 17, right? It says, um, where I'm at? I just lost it again. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which have drunk of the hand of the Lord, the cup of fury. Thou hast uh, drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. So we're going to go to dregs real quick. I uh, went through this before, but got to read it. It says his anger is reeling and drains the dregs. Okay, it says the cup six nine nine uh six nine zero seven. Uh just want to get a word out of here. There's no it says Quaboth refers to a cup using a liquid in the context of the Hebrew Bible is typically associated with ritual ceremonies, right? Importance in Religious religious practices. Um, that's pretty much it. Let me go back. Okay, it says, "Awake, awake!" Right? That means wake up out of sleep. You've been sleep too damn long, man. Put on those garments. Put on the, this word of the truth. Anyway, let's go to Sirach twelve and ten. Never trust thine enemy. Right, his wickedness is destructive. I guess this is a good news translation. As rust, watch out and be on guard against him, even if he acts ever so humble. So, you know, if this young man knew he was an Israelite, right, number one, he would have the Lord with him, you know, if he's of the elect. But he would have a chance, man. This young man don't have a chance. And these these uh, these parents don't know what to do. It, it, this also proven that uh, parents that got fathers and mothers in a home is is not as destructive, but almost as destructive. There's no gray area. You either with the Lord or you're not. So his father can't even save him because his father has got that spirit, uh, which the Lord can only save him. But his father got that spirit of like the wife. You know, it's crazy. Anyway, um, I didn't want to make nothing long out of this. I just want to.